Anything I need to know here special? Yeah. Your belt here, like an airline belt. Just what would the terrifying ordeal of Flight 1549 have looked like okay. from the perspective of passengers and crew? I went up in WNBC's News Chopper 4 in New York to fly the same route. Reporter Jim Smith and pilot Randy Empey, who were above the scene that cold January afternoon, walked me through the events of the day. As we look over at the Manhattan side, uh, you can see this is what uh, the view looks like from about 700 feet as we now come up to the area of 96th Street in Manhattan. Uh, and you can see now, as, as some people might begin to think that as they look out the window, they are now lower than some of the buildings. Anybody obviously familiar with the area, anybody from the area is well aware at this point that uh, they're making an approach into the Hudson River. You get a real appreciation also for the decision making as we're coming out over the Bronx as the plane would have been climbing out and hit the birds. Um, and you try to put yourself in Captain Sully's mindset. There's homes, there's schools, there's colleges, there's high-rise buildings in Manhattan. There's nowhere to put this plane down. That he chose the river, that's all he had. A lot of things went our way. What kind of things went your way? Apparently there are swells a lot on the Hudson. It was uh, completely flat that day. And uh, we happened to land right where the ferries go from New Jersey to Manhattan. So they were right there. They were able to come and rescue us. Other than hitting the birds, everything went our way that day. <laughs>